And we're back. Welcome to Prep Rally, the number one high school sports show in this room right now. This is our weekly show dedicated to prep sports in Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Chip Souza, the sports editor of the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. So each week this summer, we will be previewing a different high school football team in the area. The teams finished up their spring practices back in May, and they've been in team camps. They've been in seven on seven, and they're all gearing up, of course, for the big 2017 openers the last week of August, first week of September. Um, so they're all gearing toward that. Today we're going to take a look at the Silent Springs Panthers. Now last year they were 1-9, they were 1-6 in the 6A West Conference. They won their conference opener and then they lost six straight games to end the season. So the Panthers, you know, they're going to be looking to improve upon that. They graduated several top players off that team. Uh, Luke Lampton, he was a good quarterback for them. J.D. Horn was one of his favorite receivers. So, you know, they're going to have some holes to fill. But uh, Coach Brian Ross, he, uh, he starts his ninth season there at Silent Springs. He's excited about the team. He's excited to pair of newcomers who are battling to take over the quarterback spot that Lampton was in last year. Sophomore Taylor Poole and junior LT Ellis, they are going to be entering the inner summer drills, uh, you know, in that battle to be the top quarterback for Silent Springs. So uh, Coach Ross is real excited about that opportunity there. The Panthers are probably going to lean on running back Caden Threlkill this year. He's a you know player that um, that looked really good last season, but he missed some time with an injury. But at the end of the season, he was able to come back and uh, had some uh, had some couple of solid games there at the end of the season. So the coaches there at Silent Springs are really you know expecting big things out of him. There's also some other changes there at Silent Springs. There's several uh, changes on the coaching staff. We're going to have several newcomers for Coach Ross's staff. So just a lot of change going on over at Silent Springs. Our Graham Thomas, who covers Silent Springs for the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, he sat down with Coach Ross after the spring drills ended. And uh, let's take a listen to what, uh, what Coach Ross had to say about his team. And this is Graham Thomas here with the Silent Springs Herald Leader. And we are with Coach Brian Ross of the Silent Springs Panthers. Coach, uh, we're in the middle of the summer, uh, the summer grind here. How are things going so far with the summer uh, program? I, I've been pleased. I mean, we've had good turnout for our summer workouts. Uh, we've had good attendance to our team camps that we've gone to. Of course, uh, it's hard to get everybody there. You've got kids that are playing baseball, or or they've got something else going on. You know, summer working. But uh, I've been pretty pleased so far. So uh, hopefully, when we get back. Uh, uh, get back to it after uh, the dead period's over, then we'll uh, we'll uh, really get to work. You guys uh, wrapped up uh, the the first part of your your spring schedule this week, and then you, like you said, you have the the two week dead period, and y'all will be back after the the week of the Fourth of July. Um, that's when it really uh, sort of kicks up a notch, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, we we want the kids to get away uh, during the dead period. I think it's a good thing. Uh, Coaches need a, a, a break. Uh, kids need to get away and kind of recharge their batteries because you're right, when you get back in, in July, I mean, it's just uh, it's right around the corner. You're, you're going to use those those last three weeks of July to, to really prepare yourself for uh, the start of practice. It was an interesting spring for you guys, and it's been an interesting summer so far. You know, y'all were, were moving here and there during spring because of all, all the field necessities and you know, you lost some coaches, uh, and then get, and then and then just recently uh, got some coaches. Right. Well, I'm you know I'm happy with our hires. Uh, I think we we uh, brought in some 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 good coaches. Uh, uh, got a mix of, of some veteran coaches with experience and and some younger younger guys with with a lot of energy and, and uh, 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 motivation. So, uh, looking forward to seeing how it all gels. It was a uh, a unique spring. Uh, I thought our kids handled it, you know, as well as possible, uh, uh, having to bounce around and, and uh, uh, where we practice and, and being shorthanded with coaches in some way. So, um, you know, uh, it's it's not what happens to you, it's how you handle it. And I thought our kids and, and coaches, uh, you know, handled it pretty well. Uh, you know, when, when, when you guys get back for the summer, y'all are going to do seven on seven here. Uh, we'll have some, some seven on seven here on Monday nights. Uh, of course, we got a couple team camps. Uh, uh, we've had uh, several team camps so far, both varsity and JV. Uh, so you know, it's just a matter of, of getting back in the swing of things and trying to to get kids uh, both physically and many, mentally prepared for uh, uh, for what happens uh, when we start practice. Panthers uh, had a tough season last year. Went one and nine. Yeah. Um, how how much does that you know? 
uh, drive a team to, to go out and, and, and work hard during the offseason going through a tough season like that? Well, you know, I think it's, uh, it's certainly a motivating factor. Um, I don't think anybody uh, wants to see that repeated. I, I know nobody around here does. Uh, uh, had a lot of bad breaks last year and just didn't play well enough at times. But, um, you know, I've been, been very uh, uh, pleased with our kids' uh, work ethic, uh, the attitude that they've had. And, and uh, if they'll continue what they're doing, um, you know, I think good things are ahead of us. Uh, uh, like I said a minute ago, it's, it's not what happens to you, it's how you handle it. And I think our kids have handled it the right way. And, and uh, hopefully uh, this year we can. So thank you, Graham. Thank you, Coach Ross, for taking the time to talk to us about the Silent Springs Panthers. So this week and then you know, throughout the rest of summer, we will continue to look at prep football. Next week, our focus will shift to Rogers Heritage and the War Eagles and second-year coach Tony Travis as they are gearing up for the 2017 season. For all of us at the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Prep Rally.